The Aero On Control Powered Bone Access System from Teleflux represents the first major advance in bone and bone marrow sampling procedures in over 40 years. Prior to use, please see the instructions for use for a complete listing of the indications, contraindications, warnings, and precautions. After opening the product tray, place the non-sterile driver into the black connector in the sterile tray with the driver handle towards the same end of the tray as the orange needle hubs. Pull up the sterile sleeve over the driver with sterile gloved hands, being careful to not touch the driver. Remove the white tab to expose adhesive film. Fold sleeve over to adhere and roll downward towards driver. Fold the blue tabs inward to close the bag. Go to the predetermined landmark on posterior iliac crest insertion point on the patient. Insert the needle manually through the patient's soft tissue to the periosteum at the desired location and angle. Gently attach the on-control driver until an audible click is heard, which indicates attachment. Engage the driver trigger continuously with one to two pounds of downward pressure to penetrate the cortex. Release the trigger when a change in resistance is felt or a depth of one to 1.5 centimeters is reached. Disconnect the driver from the needle by lifting up on the black collar on the connector and lifting the driver up and off the needle hub. Without dislodging the cannula, gently twist and lift the stylet out of the cannula. Attach a syringe and aspirate volumes ordered. Remove the cannula from the body with the driver or manually. Wipe off the stylet to remove any residue. Reinsert stylet into cannula and tighten to ensure the stylet is fully in the cannula. Manually insert the needle into the prior skin insertion to the level of periosteum, slightly redirecting the needle to an adjacent location of the previous insertion site. Gently attach the on-control driver until an audible click is heard, which indicates attachment. Engage the driver trigger continuously with one to two pounds of downward pressure until the cortex is penetrated. Disconnect the driver from the needle by lifting up the black collar on the connector and lifting the driver up and off of the needle hub. Without dislodging the needle, gently twist and lift the stylet out of the cannula. Reattach the driver to the needle by gently pushing down until the connection click is heard. Move the depth guide down from the hub of the needle to desired core length above skin surface. Engage the trigger continuously while pressing downward then upward in one smooth motion while observing centimeter marks on the needle advancing no deeper than the depth guide. The pressure downward should be gentle or firm to match the degree of resistance felt in medullary tissues during coring step. The speed of insertion is key and should take only one to two seconds. Retract the black collar and remove the needle. Insert the tip of the cannula into the white alignment guide. Turn the cannula and alignment guide upside down with the needle hub placed on a flat, secure surface. Insert the ejector rod into the other end of the alignment guide and gently tap on the rod end. Ensure needle hub is not touching any surface to avoid damaging the core sample. Slide the ejector rod down through the cannula, gently pushing the core sample out of the needle hub onto sterile gauze, specimen container, or slide. <laughs>